This is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2012 62 plate tribute six berth motorhome with a mere 9,000 miles on it. The video has been made in connection with the photographs and editorial that you may have already seen and it's just designed to just give you a little bit more up close uh, footage of the camper and pointing out any marks that may be apparent. Um, people find this very helpful especially when they're coming from some distance away. So on the uh, non-entry side I can state there are no markings at all. I've just had a good look at this prior to uh, the making of the video and I couldn't find anything on the camper uh, that uh, would have a detrimental effect. All the plastics are nice, tyres are very good, uh, it's nice and shiny and there's no markings to it at all. This is the sport model as well so it's a slightly better specification than the just the, uh, the, the, the basic one, not that they are very basic. They're a nice spec camper. So this is on the Transit 2.2. Um, the cab has very good specification. I'll run through that when I get to the inside. Um, bonnet, nice and shiny. Overhead cab, the same. No sort of nasty, horrible markings to it or any scuffs. And down this side, again, much the same regarding condition. <coughs> it's very good. There's your high intensity rear brake light and a reversing camera. And again, plastics are very good. There's the model, the T720. Yes, I knew it was on here somewhere. Uh, I know you've also got the large sort of Fiamma. Um, uh, that looks like a four meter uh, awning on it, which you can put sides and a front on if you so desire, which will then give you this safari room. Right, moving to the interior. Starting with the cab, as mentioned, a Transit 2.2 uh, turbo diesel. Um, it has a six speed gearbox, air conditioning, cruise control, multifunction steering wheel, um, electric mirrors, electric windows, all, this, all the specification that you'd expect. As I said, air conditioning isn't standard, so it has that, which is quite a nice feature. Captain's chairs, they're both in very nice condition, again, represented by its very low mileage. And then you've got a bed obviously above the cab, up here, with a window, and then this fill-in area here, uh, just, just obviously is open for now for sort of, if you're wanting to use all the space in the lounge, etc., or for driving, um, but uh, to make it up into a bed, it just infills, and um, with the greatest of ease, and then that gives you a big double bed. Lounge area, again, plenty of space here for six people to sit around. Uh, the table extends out, there's an extension underneath. Oh, you might just be able to see that, there we go. There's an extension under, underneath. Uh, that slides out so the person who sat on the settee on this side uh, obviously gets to reach the table and eat their cheese and cucumber sandwiches or whatever takes your fancy. Okay. Um, Dual fuel, there's the button for it, gas or electric heating, uh, galley to the middle, again this is in pretty much spotless condition. Dometic fridge freezer, oven with a big storage uh, cupboard underneath for pa pots and pans etc. Plenty of room in here and lots more overhead storage. There's your control panel at the top. Hey, look, you've even got an area to put an umbrella. It's very thoughtful, manufacturers of that door. Bring them on the climate in the United Kingdom, the best of times. Okay, so the rear lounge can be either utilized as two singles, admittedly for two children, otherwise that makes up into a transverse double bed. Um, or you can sit in here and just use it, as I said, as a nice lounge area. It has permit lighting. Um, Plenty of room. Our uh, bathroom. It's a good bathroom. Uh, it's not a wet room. Uh, a lot of six berth campers are still using wet rooms, but this one has got a separate shower, uh, integrated Corian effect sink, electric flush, Tetford C250 toilet. And obviously a Perspex door that comes across and encloses that shower completely. 
Then we have, oh, no, we don't want that. Sorry about that, campers. Uh, then you have a wardrobe here uh, with the, um, uh, with the what? With the covers that go on the inside of the windows, adding for extra insulation. Obviously, the entire motorhome is double glazed, um, but the uh, only part that isn't, of course, is the front wind windscreen and the side windows. And that's the reason as to why you've got those uh, those those uh, insulation covers. Okay, so that completes Serenity Ledger's video for this 2012 tribute.